Listen, I can't help cuddling Sav again. She just can't stop making such cuddleable videos, I guess. Today, we're going to be covering the most recent video made by Sav, someone who I have been in drama with previously. If you want to know more about that, the Sav drama playlist will be in the description. But, on the topic of the video we're actually covering today, let me give you some basic context. Sav is making a video on someone named Carno Productions. Carno is being accused by Sav of being a child predator. Is Carno actually a child predator? Well, I don't fucking know. And the fact that I don't know just shows part of why Sav's video is so bad. The proof shown is minimal and not something I can make a full opinion on, so I won't. This video isn't to call Carno guilty or innocent, but to criticize Sav for some of her horrid arguments and logic in this video, among other things. To give her a bit of credit, not every point she makes is bad, just most of them, so I'll be skipping around a bit. Without further ado, let's begin, my friends. So done with this. I am done talking about this. Permanently. This is without doubt the most stressful video I've ever made, and I was literally shaking because of actual fear. Because this hurts on a personal level. Just please just apologize to me. I don't know why I didn't deserve this. <laughs> These lies on my name! <laughs> this video will be fucking great! You know, I'm such in a great fucking mood. You wanna know why? The king himself, Carno Productions, gave me a really polite and kind shout out, guys! I'm so excited! I wonder what my idol would say about me, guys. I, 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 he's so nice, kind, and caring because he acknowledged the fact that I responded to him in my comments. Oh, what does he have to say about it, guys? Here I go. <clears throat> Uh, Julian's Batman channel friends with Carnal Productions. That's the child predator I was talking about. Yo, is this person fucking retarded? Where it basically goes over that, like, Carnal Productions was a child predator. Yo, is this person fucking retarded? I'm so honored to be in his videos, guys. I'm really honored. Especially when he called me the very, very complimentive word. Something that really annoys me about this video is the fact that Sav only bleeps out the R slur when she says it and not when anyone else in the video says it. Either bleep it out all the time or don't bleep it out at all. Pick one. I, I feel so special, guys. If you couldn't tell, I was stimming so hard when he acknowledged, you know, me giving him my uh my fair share of like feedback that's really positive. What what just start happening? I don't give a fuck, huh? Here I go. <clears throat> Uh, Julian's about me. Oh my god! He is! He oh my is. god! You are way too excited to be in the video of someone you claim to be a pedophile. I get it's supposed to be a joke, but the joke drags on so much that it seems like you're not taking the situation seriously. This doesn't come off to me as a video meant to debunk bad arguments and spread awareness of a predator's actions. This comes off to me as one big joke. But yeah, um, anyways, on the main point, as you can see, Cardo decided to mention me in his addressing the allegations video. As you can tell, I was pretty excited, but I was more excited to debunking his bullshit on how he didn't groom people and that it was just a lie, which I do have screenshots for. Sav, your video took two minutes to even get to discussing the situation beyond your immature satirical bullshit that, again, makes this video calling out an alleged predator look like a fucking joke. Plus another thing he never addressed in his video at all, and I'll get into that now. Before I do get into it, I just want to say this video would have a massive trigger warning which contains the mentions of pedophilia, grooming, and child porn material. If you are sensitive to those topics, I suggest clicking off now. You don't put trigger warnings after you bring up the topic. That ruins the point of a trigger warning. And of course, obvious disclaimer, please do not go harass anyone I mentioned in this video, nor Carno. Just because I said cruel things in my video, it doesn't necessarily give you a ticket to harass people. You literally told Carno to kill himself and imply later in the video that you're proud of it. You're a hypocrite if you think it's not okay for people to harass Carno. But anyways, without further ado, let's get started! Also, be prepared with me going fucking manic at the end of the video, so... Yeah, uh, just a little fair warning. Not really fun, nor too kind towards people who do those types of things. Come on, Sav. You need to stop making videos when you're having manic episodes. You should have learned your lesson from the videos you made on me. 
especially considering this situation is about an alleged pedophile. Do not post videos you made while in a manic episode. If the discussion of these topics puts you in a manic episode that you can't avoid, do not make videos about these topics, especially unscripted. All this does is cause you to make shitty video after shitty video after shitty video, and that becomes a massive problem when you're talking about situations as serious as these. And especially not take any sort of accountability whatsoever and deflect criticism. And you'll definitely see that in the video, so if you're not used to that, that's why. Disclaimer. If you are harassing any one of these people, you are actively breaking the rules of YouTube. I've made it 100% clear that I don't want anyone to harass anyone. I've called out or me. Spreading false info is drawing the line and comparing them to other people is just flat out retarded. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention this video would contain a lot of slur usage, mainly the word not only just using that in a general sense, but also targeting other people using that, including me. So yeah, lovely. Just a little heads up, obviously. If you are actively spreading false info and abusing stuff to get people to join your side, you're retarded. Oh, this will be fucking ironic later on. As a racist, groomer, and homophobe, I don't care if he's struggling because of this false stuff. We're gonna spread it anyways because he'll be fine if he is 100% dead because he doesn't care about anyone but himself. Ooh, a self-burn. That's a rare one. I just want to ruin his life because he's a selfish monster and groomed me despite me lying my age to get involved with flirting with adults and many more. How is that the victim's fault? But wait, if he didn't know the minor was a minor, how is he a groomer or a predator? Is there extra context or evidence that contradicts what he's saying? If so, you need to provide that. Because just saying, um, that's not the minor's fault, does not prove that he's a child predator. They're obviously, you know, getting themselves hurt by lying about their age so that way they can be in a relationship with an adult. It's not necessarily their fault if they're just gonna get themselves into dangerous situations. I mean, yeah, the kid shouldn't be painted as a bad person for doing something stupid, but that doesn't make Kona a child predator. I mean, matter of fact, in most cases, when the victim actually tells them their real age, they just don't really give a shit and continues to groom them, so I don't really understand this point. Okay? Did that happen in this specific situation? If so, you need to prove that. Don't just say things, give us evidence. And if that didn't happen, then you're just saying shit for the sake of saying shit. You're not even making a point, you're just yapping. You also mentioned this multiple times later on as a way to excuse the fact that he was grooming someone, which, by the way, it's not an excuse. You acknowledge what you did is wrong and you refuse to take any sort of accountability. And the fact you're victim blaming is fucking hilarious. He's not making an excuse for grooming or victim blaming. He's stating that he literally didn't know that the person he was sexual with was a minor and therefore he didn't groom them. That's all he's saying. I'm not even arguing that his story is true. You're just actively misunderstanding the words Kano is saying, and if you have context that makes what he's saying misleading, show us. What did I miss? I think you just single-handedly destroyed the foundations of the U.S. economy over a pile of corn dogs. What, again? Here I go. <clears throat> Uh, Julian's Batman channel friends with Carnal Productions. That's the child predator I was talking about. Yo, is this person fucking retarded? Uh, friendly reminder, my testicles has shriveled up and died. So is my clitoris. All because of this cringy ass skibbity toilet meme he fucking inserted in the video. Each part of my body is shriveled up and dying to the point I'm starting to develop a brain tumor stage four. So if I stop uploading for a month, it's due to that. So, um, yeah, please send your condolences right now before I pass away. Sav, I'd rather watch six hours of skibbity toilet than listen to you talk about your genitals. And again, we're talking about a predator. You're unfunny gross shock value humor would be easy to ignore if the situation wasn't extremely fucking serious nobody wants to hear about your fucking clitoris dude jesus christ a 20 year old youtuber has been dealing with false pedo has grooming allegations for almost two years at this point to the point i it's time to break my silence i know i haven't said anything in like a long while but this is starting to get really annoying and i've been trying to collect evidence to help defend myself against these false claims i've been dealing with a massive amount of anxiety and weight loss and not the healthy kind. And many because of his brain that female who just screamed, I have drama at the tattoo. I don't know why you were mentioning the fact that you were sent to the hospital over like pedophilia claims. I hate to break it to you, but like that doesn't necessarily involve with anything about this. I think he was saying that the stress from the situation caused him to starve himself and landed him in a hospital. Is that hella guilt trippy and a horrible way to start an addressing video? Yes, but should Sav also know at the very least the concept her commentary target is trying to convey to his audience? 
also yes. I got the mood to follow to the point where I have to have some some of my families if you guys are still here. But... That's actually really fucking funny considering the fact like there's only one person defending you and some people being skeptical about your debunkings and evidence. Uh, thank you. I know some former fans left because this is false stuff, but I need to say this clearly to make sure you guys don't go absolute berserk on anyone else because if you're not seeing this one, you know what this means. Holy shit, we fucking get it. You already made that clear in this video. Please, move on. That's exactly what I said when I had to listen to your bullshit intro for two minutes. I've been playing for ages, like a long, long time. And one of the people who went after me falsely took down my call out video on him because I used his OC with quotes and now I can show the actual image of his OC so I had to resort to this. So, uh, this is better than nothing. So, you're technically doxing him. I mean, unless his face is public domain, then this shit's, like, considered doxing. Public domain? Do you mean publicly available online? Public domain means something that isn't subject to copyright, not whatever context you're using it in. And no, this isn't doxing. His face was publicly available on his TikTok. Later, you even directly accuse him of being a doxer, despite the fact that you literally say here that you weren't entirely sure if the image was available publicly defined or not. Because again, if this face wasn't on the internet where it was kept private, you're basically fucking doxing the guy. I'm sorry, but if you're going to address, you know, claims that you are a child predator, I don't think doxing people in your video isn't going to make you any better. Good thing you didn't dox anyone. Your magnetism is a cute bedtime story, but I believe in one thing. Okay, fine. I guess I can believe in two things, but that's my limit. Deflection is often used in arguments as a way to shift focus away from oneself and onto another person or issue. People commonly divert the pressure from themselves by changing the subject, pointing out someone else's flaws, or presenting unrelated information to distract from the main issue at hand. Deflection can also be a form as to gaslight people. It can also be a form of narcissistic abuse. A person with narcissistic traits may go to any lengths to seem as a perfect possible, including criticizing other people who give them negative feedback, which, so far, it kind of sums it up with Carnot Productions, right? Unless you're trying to armchair diagnose Carnot with having NPD, why are you bringing this up? Hey Max, want to see how I won all those surfing trophies back in school? No, I don't want to see you cry to the PE teacher and then beg me to club your competitors in the knees. Why? So yeah, if you want a bit more context or it's a situation that's like really irrelevant, I suggest going to the Google Drive I have in the description where it's basically an archive of the video. Not only because I'm preventing harassment. Preventing harassment? My ass. But also it's because I do not want you to give this guy possible ad revenue. But anyway. Um, editors know by the time I'm editing this, um, as you can see by the timestamp, I fucking lie. But I have a question. What are these? Let's get some context. <clears throat> Asino. He's a serial killer who kills for pleasure and a job. He has killed him from the age of zero to elders. And he's a uh, massive dickhead to other people besides the people he uh, likes. William Blockhaw, which as of the uh, recording is still on your DVD page, which no worries, I actually still love what you actually drew. Whoa, 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 don't fucking tell me I'm witnessing some love bombing type shit. Love bombing? Are you fucking kidding me, Sav? Okay, okay, let's just let her explain herself. Maybe she has something to say that will make this even slightly make sense. Now you might be confused thinking, Sav, why the hell did you mention love bombing? You know that can be a little bit of a stretch? Especially when it's used in a context of a romantic relationship, not just being platonic or just strangers? To answer the obvious big question, yes, love bombing is in the context of romantic relationships. However, it can also be in a platonic way too, especially to a stranger. Love bombing is a form of psychological and emotional abuse that involves a person going above and beyond for you in an effort to manipulate you into a relationship with them. It looks different for every person, but usually it involves some form of excessive flattery and praise. The reason why I mention this is that not only he's deflecting any criticism that's coming to his way, he's also using it in a love bombing context by complimenting the said accuser and trying to paint their image as, you know, being overall nice and kind, which really isn't the case. Love bombing is when you shower someone with affection or flattery to manipulate them. Complimenting someone's art once isn't love bombing, even if it's not done with complete sincerity. You're just throwing out buzzwords for shits and giggles now. So yeah, it is a little bit of a stretch. You might be asking how I know all this? It's a very simple explanation, actually. Uh, you don't. Well, not only I grow up with a narcissist, but my stepdad is diagnosed with narcissistic personality disorder. Which now, thanks to him, I know when someone's a narcissist based on how they act and treat others. No, you fucking don't. You're not a doctor, Sav. Just because you have experiences with narcissists doesn't mean you get to continuously imply that Karno is a narcissist because he was talking about a situation in a deflecting manner and said he liked someone's art. You're throwing out words like narcissist and love bombing without realizing that not only do you not understand the meaning of those words, but your mislabeling of random people you dislike as narcissists does nothing but 
demonize people who are suffering with NPD. Great job, Sav. Great fucking job. Stop trying to armchair diagnose people. No, no reason. But also that he's known as a. I'm sorry. What was that? No, this is a tip of an iceberg. I got more OC to a psychopath than worse. In what way you think it was appropriate to address the fact that you have a rapist OC when you're addressing the claims against you, which is, you know, being a child predator? Look, man, I can understand if it's a point where you're making a rapist OC just to tell a story and that involves them. But it's another thing when you're using it just for, you know, shock value or just a characteristic trait that makes them edgy and mysterious. How people use certain characteristics in their OCs is none of your business, including if they want to make their OC a rapist. Hell, weren't you the bitch simping for Bob fucking Velzub? You know, that cannibalistic serial killer character? But simply making your OC a rapist is apparently too far? Or, I'm sorry, you can only make your OC a rapist if it follows Sav's arbitrary rules of fiction mentioned that's one of your psychopath OCs. So I'm assuming that it's a edgy OC with like, oh, a creepy uh, characteristic trait. You're assuming, which means you don't know, nor do you need to know because it's a fictional character. It's his OC and his business. You're accusing a guy of being a child predator, yet you're focusing on his icky yucky OC right now. Seems kind of hypocritical actually. Clearly Kano here isn't the only one with a lack of priorities. Which is like, why? Why? Because he wants to. Next question. As someone who was sexually assaulted, especially when I was a child, I don't want my rapist to be seen as a mysterious, edgy motherfucker who has this trait because of, oh, for, you know, shock value purposes. Your rapist is a real person, not a fictional fucking character. Any normal person with even a slight differentiation between fiction and reality won't see a real rapist in the same way they see a fictional rapist. Also, your trauma doesn't mean you can dictate the kind of fiction other people can and can't make. If you are uncomfortable by it, you should avoid it. And you wonder why people are dogging on you. Hmm, I wonder. Because you're accusing him of being a child predator. Hello? The rapist OC is not the most important claim in this discussion. Wouldn't you rather grow up to be as cool as I am? With a boss car and a detective job and a huge gun? Hmm, would I have to be as fat as you too? Temporal anomaly detected. You got lucky, punk. Oh, you brought up this shit that I did. I'm saving up for Leah because I got a lot of stuff to say about her. And some people came out against her that made me go, what? Or maybe bring it up now. Don't try to fucking deflect it. I want to see what your response is. Because you're just deflecting so fucking much to the point it's like you automatically look fucking guilty. I want you to bring this up now instead of later. But consider the fact how this video goes. I'm not going to be that surprised. This is something you want as a friend. Wishing death on people. I don't know where Godzilla and Alistair is the king off, but I am so sorry that he had to deal with this. You have a rapist OC for shock value. I think it's more worse than Skylar just sending death threats. Salve, kindly go fuck yourself. I don't know what kind of brain rot you're experiencing right now, but to say that just sending people fucking death threats is nothing compared to creating fictional characters you don't like is insane. Death threats can make people feel unsafe, worthless, and even push them to suicide. What is wrong with you? And not only that, but you assume that the character was made for shock value when really, you know jack shit about this character. I am so sorry to have you with him and his retarded goons. Also, if some people in the comments are whining in the comments about how they say we just shut up. If it's autistic slur, then I have every right to say it. I don't know, man. I think you're bitching and moaning just because people call you ableist, rightfully so. More than just bitching and moaning that you use the slur. It seems like, uh... It seems like it's the other way around, where anti-woke people get more offended that they're being labeled as such. I don't know, man. Maybe it's just me. Anti-woke? Since when was he anti-woke? Did I miss something? Is there context that makes the statement make more sense that you aren't showing us? If so, can we see it? Like, yeah, he uses the Oslo against people while being autistic, and I do agree that's a shitty thing to do, but I wouldn't go as far as to call him anti-woke because of that. It just feels silly to me. I've seen autistic people who I'd consider relatively progressive use the Arsler in the same way he does. That doesn't make it okay, but anti-woke wouldn't be the term for that in my opinion. I can say it. I'm explaining myself so I can use a Hispanic slur as, as I want as well. What does being Hispanic have to do with the fact that you can reclaim the word 
What wood? You can't fucking hear the wood over the bleeping. That's the point of the bleeping. I don't know, maybe you're trying to get at that people who are disabled or autistic can reclaim the slur? I think that's what you're trying to say? Because obviously autistic people and disabled people were targeted with that word. Same goes with every slur that's targeted towards minorities. But you being a person of color doesn't have to do with mental disabilities. His point was that he would also be able to acclaim Hispanic slurs because he's Hispanic. Is that irrelevant and really weird to bring up? Yeah, but you just completely misunderstood what he was saying. I'm new at this. I have a lot of student loans. Great! Loan us a student! I can ride it around like a pony! It's nice to see you show such enthusiasm! Security. Oh yeah, he's talked to Antonio as well. Antonio, well, watch my family. And are you going to Sav, that? stop talking over the clip you're playing! Have... Oh man, this hurts to say. I've said this in this response. I made, which by the way, I still remember what I said, like a massive amount. Mikhail was known to use a real person's actual face, which they wanted to be anonymous. Like, I don't think you should be talking, considering the fact you also dog someone in your video. <laughs> no, he fucking didn't. You even said earlier that you weren't sure. Stop saying shit you can't prove. And she famously falsely accused her of being a pedophile. Remind her, she's been going at the package for a long while. Oh, this is really funny. Now, I'm gonna give you a bit of context despite the fact I'm working on my own video about package to reviewers. He's friends with someone by the name of Cool Speedy Josh, who was also a commentator. Um, not that I care, but anyway. There was a claim that spread where Johnny was flirting with a 13 year old. Despite the fact that he's 17. They continuously flirt with one another, jokingly, which is really fucking creepy. Until the victim brought up that the crush was unironic. Which, all of a sudden, Cool Speedy Josh was freaked out by it. After we dropped Wonkin from my friend group, I got notified about Wonkin's crush on me was unironic. At first, I didn't mind it since I thought they said I ironic but then Kenster told me in a VC that it was ironic and I went back to Kathy's DM and I was like oh god like I wasn't aware that Wonkin had an actual crush on me but after hearing the news I was creeped out actually creeped out and do you want to know how Package responded to the situation well decided to join forces with Will G and even go as far as accusing Josh of pedophilia which he knows damn well he flirted with him first besides you both are still minors it's not even remotely pedophilia if nobody's an adult they're above the age to be diagnosed as a pedophile the age gap itself is around four years apart so Josh isn't a pedophile by your own words, you agree with him. However, it's not a good idea legally wise because you can get charged with statutory rape, especially in some states where they do suggest that if you do date someone who is four years apart from you, you can get charged. I promise you, nobody is getting charged with statutory rape, or any kind of rape for that matter, for flirting with someone over the internet. Flirting with a minor as an adult, even as a joke, is gross and inappropriate, but it literally isn't statutory rape by its definition. However, I am kind of doubtful consider effect from what I've heard, the victim was actually 12. Which in that case it would be a done deal, but either way it's still a done deal because he could still get charged with statutory rape. See my last introjection. Despite the fact that some people would say the victim was 13. Consider the fact that, like, Package has a really bad track record with picking and choosing who gets to be a pedophile based on how his relationship is with them. Especially when he actually defended a pedophile. And to make matters worse, she fetishizes the live-action variants of Lighthouse characters. To push the boundaries even further for the edge, she made edits out of screenshots from the live-action show, essentially making fetish pets out of the actors. Granted, most of it is based off the Willy Wonka movies, but it gets very questionable when we draw it multiple times. Plus, the movie came out during a time where some people most likely didn't find the scene remotely arousing. She even sends her followers out to report videos that flat-out state she's a pedo. Honestly, calling Tana a pedo is a bit of a stretch, but it definitely doesn't help her case when she draws this kind of stuff. So, Sav doesn't really give any context of this situation other than this extremely sped up clip, so sped up that I had to slow it down to even understand what the fuck this person was saying. So, to spare you guys, I will slow down the sped up part of the clip. And to make matters worse, she fetishized the live action variants of Loud House characters. To push the boundaries even further to the edge, she made edits out of screenshots from the live action show, essentially making fetish pics out of the actors. Granted, most of it is based off the Willy Wonka movies, but it gets very questionable when you draw it multiple times. Plus, the movie came out during the time where some people most likely didn't find the scenes remotely arousing. She is almost a 30-year-old woman making fetish art out of minors. In order to be diagnosed as a pedophile, you need to at least be above the age of 16 at least, and have fantasies of underage children being in sexual scenarios. How is calling her a pedophile a stretch? But yeah, um, due to that fact, I highly doubt that the victim is 13. So, you think the victim was probably not 13 because of a completely unrelated situation? 
What? Because of that. And consider a fact you're trying to debunk these um, claims saying that you're a child predator. Um, this isn't helping you by defending someone who openly defended a child predator. A child predator is someone who seeks out and abuses children, such as a groomer or child molester. What she was doing was disgusting, pedophilic, and absolutely not okay. But that doesn't make her a child predator? Call it a nitpick, I just prefer the people who make videos calling out alleged child predators to actually know what the words child predator mean. Hey Sam, did I ever mention how I've memorized pi to 1000 decimal places? It's 3.14159265358979. Do you have a piece of paper handy? You want to write down the phone number? I remember the number. I want to write myself a reminder to smother you with a pillow in your sleep. These childs are going to be very, very cringeworthy. So, uh, here they are. Literally, DeviantArt here. My god. Now, here's the story. So, back when I was 17 years old, I did a role play with Noah. Now, I didn't know her actual age at the time. Her fake age was actually 18, and she is known to lie about her age. Okay, if you knew, you should have asked her her ID. Sav, you don't just ask random people online for their ID. That's something we like to call weird. Also, I'm a bit confused, because after going through the screenshots shown, there wasn't really anything sexual. Maybe there was some in the more blurry ones that I had trouble reading, but I don't really see anything explicit or even really suggestive in those screenshots. As a role player myself, role play isn't an inherently sexual thing, it's just playing out a story in text form. If there's some kind of fetish thing going on here, you need to specify that and show evidence. I'm sorry, but if you knew that she was going to lie about her age and she has a repeating pattern of it, that's your own fucking fault. What if he only found out about her history of lying about her age after this situation? If he failed to verify her age, that's your fault. I don't get how it's hard for these fucking adults to ask someone their ID so that way they can verify their age. Hey there, possible future role play partner, give me your personal information. Also, like, I really doubt that you know she was a minor despite the fact that she fucking roleplays with you. Usually people who roleplay are, like, underage. There may be some adults who do roleplay, but consider that case, I really doubt that you supposedly didn't know her age. Okay, this is the dumbest argument I've ever heard. So, it's not out of the realm of possibilities for Kano to roleplay at 17 years old, but it is out of the realm of possibilities for someone to roleplay at 18 years old, also, using this argument crumbles even more when you realize that Kano, at 20 years old, was legitimately using skibbity toilet memes in his video. And you want to say that only kids can like things you view as juvenile? But wait, Sav said that usually adults don't like roleplay. Sometimes they do, Sav said that. Well, uh, that also completely crumbles her own argument, so, you know... If she's saying it concretely, then she's wrong. If she's saying it non-concretely, then not only is it wrong, but it's also a nothing burger, so I don't fucking care. Now, what I did was careless, and I understood what I did was wrong, and I said kind of Billy. But you gonna say this is grooming? You're retarded. <laughs> so true. Just giggle instead of actually making a fucking point. And you want to talk about things that are juvenile? <laughs> no one's even learned anything. No one's learned anything about false allegations. They haven't learned anything. They haven't learned about Spock back, back then before what he did now. No one learned about Inquisitor quite just a war <laughs> <laughs> Oh my fucking god! To obviously point out that misconception right there, Spockter is a pedophile. He kept child pornography on his drive until he was 18. Sav, he's talking about the stories in Pentagon situation. That's why he said Spockter back then before what he did now. Are you allergic to critical thinking skills? Also, citation needed. Not even saying you're wrong, just give me some evidence. And the victim was 14, by the way. So yeah, off to a bad start. But anyway, I love how you're saying shit that people are lying that you're a child predator and that you groomed people, which is like, okay, first of all, you don't even prove it. And you haven't proved that he is a pedophile or a groomer. Actually, I don't think you've shown a single piece of evidence so far that proves that Kano is a predator. You've just been saying shit for the sake of saying shit. Second of all, you never address the fact that you blatantly admit to drawing child porn. I know you were gonna try to keep that out of the question so that way it makes you seem like some sort of saint in the situation, but I'm not going to let that slide. Or maybe he thinks it's stupid that people are accusing him of being a pedophile over a fictional character that does not exist and therefore doesn't want to address it. 
oh yeah, and by the way, Kano claims that he didn't even know the age of the character he drew NSFW of. This is a claim that Sav doesn't even fucking address, despite showing evidence of him saying such. Just watch. As you are promoting um, that type of action, I have actually multiple sources to this, by the way. But from what I heard, uh, no one gave me actual permission to actually drop uh, the camera It doesn't and matter on the permission, action. you're still sexualizing a minor, regardless, and I that is still illegal. So not only are we calling someone a pedophile because they drew a piece of art of a fictional character that was a minor, with no context on which character this even was, what they look like, or how he drew the character, but he might not even have known that this character was a minor. How is this pedophilia? Listen, I hate lollicons as much as the next guy, but that might not even be what this is. And even if he did know the character's age, calling someone a pedophile for drawing porn of a fictional minor is stupid. It entirely depends on so many different factors that you can't call someone a pedophile just because of fiction. There has to be more to it. And even in the pinned comment you say, even if my evidence of him lying wasn't enough, or proven otherwise, it doesn't erase the fact that he admitted to making CP. But that still doesn't prove much. At worst, he's a creep who thinks lollies are hot, and at best, he accidentally drew NSFW of a minor character, and he doesn't have any sexual thoughts towards fictional or real kids. This clip doesn't actually prove he's a pedophile, even if we take this bullshit, lollycon equals pedophile 100% of the time because I said so bullshit, you're feeding your audience with no good reasoning or explanation. Even if you didn't know, you're still promoting the action. Every single excuse and argument you make doesn't literally, it, it literally doesn't affect it. You, you've just been- Whoever's talking here is a moron. Yes, whether he knew the age of the character does affect the fact that he drew point of a fictional minor, you idiot. Also, if you try to say shit that he apologized in your DM, he just blatantly admits that you were lying about not grooming people. I also have screenshots to prove this, by the way, that I caught you in this big fucking lie that you didn't groom people. I'm confused. What does this prove? This guy saying, yeah, this other guy said that Kano lied about not grooming people doesn't prove anything? And then this other screenshot is Kano saying that he couldn't put something in his video because of his full storage. What is this even trying to prove here, that Kano was lying about not grooming people? Because this doesn't prove that. I'm genuinely just kind of confused here on what the point of this was. So Kano, was it worth it to make this 30 minute fucking video of just you deflecting the situation, all for it to be proven true? You didn't prove anything with this video other than the fact that you haven't gotten much better at arguing since your videos on me. Was it worth it? I honestly didn't want to hear more of his shitty ass fucking deflecting, so I skipped most of the video just to, um, kind of address his response towards me. Sav, you spent about four minutes out of your 35 minute video actually covering the part about you. You clearly didn't cut out enough of the irrelevant shit because most of the video is covering that irrelevant shit. So, yeah, let's get into it. As of not long ago, it's on my name of Sav. <laughs> I'm so excited! Don't do this shit again, you did it enough in your intro. That would be a good idea to join a current with a pedo bandwagon, along with someone who my name is Lil1999 to being tied to, so that was fun. And Sav's I, I listened to Mr. Blocky, which video on his actions in the description below. I hate to break it to you, but you're just too much of a pussy to admit your own fault, so you're just putting blame onto other people in order to make you feel better about yourself. And guess what? I am not wrong. Biggest nut uh point of 2024, guys. I'm not ever seen. They get amazing for not supporting an organization who has committed a lot of crimes and scam donators. <laughs> That's funny, because you literally called Skyler racist for saying the end of the hard- I don't get your point here. He thinks BLM is a bad organization because he claims they commit crimes and scam people. And therefore, he can't criticize someone for being racist? You don't even argue the claims he makes about the BLM movement. You just kind of laugh at him and move on. What if he's totally right? We don't know because you just ignore this point, imply he's a hypocrite for no reason, and move on. Also, Sav, what's that thing called again? When you change the subject to try and put the spotlight on someone else instead of actually addressing the argument? Say I'm homophobic for these dog and offensive jokes? So you can make offensive humor, but they can't? Double standards, I- I'm gonna be honest, I can't even argue this point because I don't even know what Kano said. 
see him in my side. But Staff, I refuse to listen to my side, and of course, I'm gonna kill myself. Oh boy, Carno, I fucking wonder why! Because you're a hypocritical asshole. Also, it's really funny how he included me telling him to kill himself in the Google Doc Drive, as he, if he thinks I'm going to fucking lie about this. I made it publicly that I would send death threats to pedophiles. You haven't proved that Carno is a pedophile yet. All we know right now is that he roleplayed, seemingly non-sexually, with a minor he allegedly didn't know the age of, which you haven't debunked, and that he drew NSFW of a minor character that he allegedly also didn't know the age of, which you also haven't debunked. You really suck at this, Sav. Stop talking about these types of situations if you aren't going to act tastefully and treat the situation with the maturity it deserves. Telling this guy to kill himself because you think he might be a pedophile is not acting tastefully or maturely. And people who make fun of essay victims or invalidate them. Is this about the rapist OC thing? So you told him to kill himself, partially because he made an OC who's a rapist that you assume was made for shock value? Anti-shipper is gonna anti-ship, I guess. So, yeah, I'm honest about that, so I don't know why you're acting like I said I'll fucking lie about this. Maybe because your behavior in regards to the situation is embarrassing and you should be ashamed. Staff, listen to me, please. You need to stop getting yourself involved in this crap nowadays. It's extremely toxic, and this toxic is like people are like dead as of 2024. <laughs> That's funny, because if you're calling me toxic just because I'm slandering your ass for being a fucking creep towards minors. So you actively admit you're making false claims about Carno? Fucking wow. Either that, or you don't know what the word slander means. It's really fucking rich coming from you, consider the fact you're trying to manipulate people in order to get on your side multiple times, with your sob story about how you starved yourself to the point you ended up in the hospital, which isn't an excuse to be inappropriate with minors, by the way. Um, just a little fun fact. Reflect any sort of criticism by throwing people under the bus, and most importantly, love bombing. You still don't know what that word means, Sav. But somehow, some reason, I am worse than you. <laughs> That's fucking great, buddy. I, I really hope- I'm really happy that you're living in this ignorant bliss. Hope you get fucking arrested, dude. So, if you say I have victims as well, you're just pulling this out of your ass. This is like play moth slander, and we all know how bad he was. And somehow, some fucking way, I'm worse than someone who literally makes fucking child porn. Great. By child porn, you mean the fictional character he drew that he allegedly didn't know the age of? Still haven't addressed that part, by the way. My thing is to everyone who's slandered me, please take down your videos without a doubt. Er Maybe not. Also, the quote-unquote slander I see is you admitting to making child porn. You literally admitted to slandering him almost exactly a minute ago, you moron. Also, see my last interjection. Just please just apologize to me. I don't know why I didn't deserve this. This has gone super, super far and way too far. I nearly left the internet because of this. You know what? Just to close off this video, I'm just going to make my own little apology. I, I kind of realized I was a bit too harsh with this video. So I'm gonna apologize to him right now. And this is where we're ending the video because Sav's humor is like a metal fork scraping against a glass plate. My final thoughts are this. Sav, you haven't changed a bit since your videos on me. Despite you apologizing for those videos and how you acted in that drama in your Sav rebranded video. Let's actually take a look at something you said in that video to kind of rebrand this channel as like more of a hobby channel than like actually calling people out and making rants on people the more i realized honestly, about my actions towards people and like how i, I realized it wasn't really fit for the commentary community nor just ranting in general about like certain people i tend not to be really good at information when it comes to doing research and just end up messing up a couple and of overall, times just kind of being ass at it in a and way mainly the fact that it deteriorates my mental health in general it just causes me to have multiple episodes so I will just end up making this channel as like some sort of hobby channel where I talk about certain types of things that I'm hyper fixated on or just like talking about certain topics that are popular. Yet here you are again accusing someone of being a pedophile with the same lackluster evidence you had in your Mushroom Girl videos. I am sick and tired of you over and over and over again making the same fucking mistakes. Mistakes that could cause the livelihoods of the people you're covering. I'm going to say this to you bluntly and sternly, Sav. Either clean up your act or stop making commentary videos. You admit that you suck at this kind of content, so either learn how to not suck at it or stop making this kind of content. Well, goodbye everyone. Have a good day.